Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to do a taste test on this right here. It's the Grappau by the Keto Baking Company. And I guess it's a snickerdoodle granola. Uh, I didn't know what a snickerdoodle was, but I guess it's a cookie and it's made out of a, a keto friendly granola. That's really exciting because uh, my wife does enjoy granola. She likes, you know, yogurt and then adding granola to it. For now, we're gonna try this snickerdoodle. It's kind of fun to say, snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle. Sneakers like shoes and doodle like, I don't know. Not doodle, doodle. Ooh, that smells really good though. Mm. It's really, it's, it smells really kind of potpourri-ish, but like in a sweet kind of way. It's cinnamon, I guess. Megu doesn't like cinnamon though. I like it. I like cinnamon. Now this one, it looks like it's all crumbly. And so, and it's like a big piece in the middle. So maybe I should take out a plate, add un plato. So I'm gonna get a plate and just dump it on the plate because uh, it looks like if I try to dig into it, the, ho the opening is so small that my hand is just gonna tear the, the bag open and I won't be able to split it evenly between these guys here helping me out. I got Rie helping me here and then Megu and Risa right there because they're supposed to be shy or something. As you can see, there's one big piece and then there's a bunch of little kind of coconut flakes, uh, walnuts, uh, other t like it looks like some almonds, some uh, sunflower seeds. I don't like that this cookie looking thing is just one and it's big, it's in the middle. Uh, there are some small pieces here, so you know what? Just to be fair with the taste test, I'm gonna break this apart because it seems like it should be broken down. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be all one piece or if it's supposed to be uh, broken up like this and it just kind of gathered in the middle. It is oily. Look at that. That's probably butter. Yeah. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste. It doesn't taste like coconut though. I like this coconut flakes. They're really kind of juicy. I forgot to go through the nutritional facts, so I'll do that now. It says uh, serving size about one ounce, which is 28 grams. So this is two servings right here. It has 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs with two grams of fiber, zero sugar, and three grams of sugar alcohol and also three grams of protein. So I mean, you gotta double that because this bag is two servings. So that's two grams net times two. So four net carbs for this one packet. Seems like a lot, but I think it has to do with um, all the little seeds in there. And it says ingredients, extra virgin, extra virgin co coconut oil, erythritol, almonds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, golden flax seeds, free range eggs, pecans, Himalayan pink salt, grass-fed bovine collagen and stevia okay so i do taste the stevia i don't think they put too much in there but i do have that like stevia aftertaste a little bit they, i don't even eat the cookie they already ate it cookie's not bad i actually enjoy the coconut flakes a lot more than the cookie <coughs> just because it has that cinnamon taste the walnuts really good too Meg was not a fan, but she doesn't like cinnamon, so that might be a reason. She also doesn't like coconut, so that may, might be another reason. I don't like coconut. Mm. Cookie, yes, but nothing. So, Maria liked the cookie, but not the nuts and the coconut. The cookie was okay. I guess we're the opposite on that one. The website here says it's worth three dollars and forty-nine cents for that. This package right here, which is two ounces. It's good, but I don't think it's worth the $3.50, especially because it looks like they just took a bunch of ingredients you can get at the store and they just mix them together. I mean, I guess most products are like that, but in this particular case, I think I can do a better mix by myself because all those products seem to be easily obtainable. And yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather kind of mess around and do a DIY on this than uh, buy it again. But I do appreciate that I got to taste it and it gave me the idea to do it on my own, so that's good. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. 
Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. If you know of any other uh, cookies, snooker doodles, or any kind of uh, granola keto-friendly mix, uh, please let me know in the comment section below if it's either something that you already tried and you think I should try or if it's something you haven't tried and you want me to do a taste test on it all of that please put it in the comment section below I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye